glad you've been able to navigate your way to this YouTube video describing the new and exciting Scan Sentry Toolkit for the eSignal platform. Let me introduce myself. My name is Hawk Arps. I'm Vice President of Yon Arps Traders Toolbox and have developed these exciting new tools for the recently improved watch list for eSignal. You may have noticed that with the recent advances interactive data has made to the eSignal platform, there are now some exciting new things you can do, which you could not do before. Well, we've taken their improvements to the watch list, uh, created an exciting new suite of tools, which allows you to find powerful trade setups in real time across your list of symbols. How would you like to be able to instantly identify which symbols on your watch list have just started trending? Which ones are offering those golden pullback trading opportunities? And which ones are exhibiting the telltale signs of trend exhaustion? Well, a quick glance at our new easy to read scan sentry toolkit is all the effort it takes to garner this important information. Please allow me to give you a quick tour of the ARPS Scan Sentry Toolkit for eSignal. You can see here I have applied a list of symbols to the eSignal watch list, and I have the standard built in stochastic indicator applied to this list of symbols. And honestly, I don't get much information out of this data. Nothing wrong with the eSignal stochastic indicator, but what I want to know is when are my trade signals occurring? Uh, for me, if, if I'm trading an oscillator like a stochastic tool, I'm looking for an exit from the overbought oversold zone or divergence signals, a cross of the fast to slow, these types of things. All I have here is a, is a list of numbers, uh, which I have to look at every column now and find out exactly what's going to help me and what's not. We have created uh, a suite of tools which rather than giving you the raw data for the indicators gives you data for the signals. So I will apply one of our new scan sentry tools. I'll use the TTB trend exhaustion 1 as an example because like the stochastic tool this is also a two-line oscillator which can offer excellent trading signals when it crosses out of an overbought or oversold zone. So let's see what these tools look like. I have before me now the TTB trend exhaustion 1 watch list indicator applied to this list of symbols and you can see that we have green cells and red cells and yellow cells and gray cells. Uh, so let's let's explain what each of these mean. First, the first column shows bars ago, and that tells me how many bars ago the signal that I'm looking for occurred. In this case, the signal is a signal dot, which is generated by our Trend Exhaustion One Crown Jewels tool, and it's derived from an overbought or oversold signal of the Radar 2 price leader acceleration oscillator, which is one of our most popular and effective crown jewels tools. So the first column showing me bars ago shows me how many bars ago a signal occurred. Now if the column is tinted green, then I know that it's a bullish signal. And if the column is tinted red, I know that it's a bearish signal. The second column tells me how much the price has changed since that signal. So I can quickly see whether it was a good signal or a bad signal, if it's just getting started or not. I can also use this percent change column to analyze my input parameter settings to see if my current settings can be improved upon in order to create uh, a better percent change average, but we'll get into that in a few minutes. The third column is showing me a warning system, and this is something we're really proud of here at Yon Arps Traders Toolbox. We not only are alerting you to signals as they occur, but we're also looking for some of the advanced aspects of the setups and giving you a heads up when one of these signals is setting up. And this is our warning column. You can see it tells us if a uh, signal is setting up in the up direction or in the down direction. 
Now, this information is most useful if I sort upon one column or the other. In this case, I can sort upon bars ago and find which symbols have most recently fired a signal. These tools will not, by the way, update intrabar because it would overload the eSignal watch list data provider. So, although they are available to work on any time frame, uh, from minute bars, tick bars, volume bars, uh, any kind of time frame that you can apply to the watch list, they won't calculate until the end of the bar. So these numbers refer to the most recent completed bar, and you can see that we have had a few signals here. And if I want to know how my indicator is doing, how good are my signals, I can sort on percent change. I see that of the signals generated, about two thirds of one column are all positive percent change and then we have some negative percent change which is not nearly as significant as the positive ones so it's looking to me like this is not bad setting just the stock setting out of the box and I can see also if I want to know which symbols are just setting up uh, I can sort of on the warning column and see which ones are setting up bullish and which ones are setting up bearish well, before I make my trading decisions, I want to look at a chart. And the easy way to do that is to link the watch list to the chart. So I can click on this little colored tab here and I choose a color. In this case, I've chosen green. And if I minimize this, I have a chart here and you can see that I have linked it with the green color. And it has the Trend Exhaustion 1 indicator on it. And if we take a look at our watch list and let's pick uh, a recent example why don't we try this one you can see that it's showing us the most recent completed bar has a oversold signal from our trend exhaustion one tool and the previous signals generally look pretty good uh, that gives me a lot of confidence that these are generally calibrated well for this time frame. So in that way I can apply to the watch list signal tools that I can also see on my chart and find out how effective and how recently those signals have occurred. In a future video I look forward to demonstrating for you all of the new tools we have in the eSignal Scan Sentry Toolkit. But for now, suffice this little demonstration to show you how we are rethinking how to use the eSignal watch list. How these powerful new watch list tools can show you trading setups as they occur in real time, rather than simply reporting raw data from worn out old indicators. to thank you for taking your precious time to learn a little bit about these new tools for eSignal. I hope you got something useful from it. And I hope you will look at the follow-up video which goes into more detail about all of the tools in the eSignal Scan Sentry Toolkit. And remember, we at Jan Arps Traders Toolbox wish you success in your trading as well as in all the important aspects of your life.